Hi there, everybody. I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys about Chapter 28 of the American Pageant Textbook. This is Progressivism and the Republican Roosevelt. I'm back in a different outfit to make this entertaining and get those extra points. So, we're going to start with the who, what, when, where, why, how, all of those basic questions on progressivism. So, what is it? It is a time for reform. We are working to tackle all those evils and like the monopolies, the corruption that's going on, inefficiency, and most importantly, social justice. The next is the who. This is a big one. First of all, most of the progressives in this time were middle class urban white citizens. So they're your, like average people. They're not going to be so poor that they can't do anything. And they're not going to be the rich people who are at risk of having their money being taken away. So we've got these middle class people. The main people who are doing lots of the extra hard work are the muckrakers. And we're going to spend a lot of time on them. They are the total cool people. They're the journalists who are getting down and dirty and just exposing all of the issues that are going on in America. Hi everyone, I'm Ida Tarbell. I am one of the biggest muckrakers and the pioneer of investigative journalism. So I kind of know what's going on here. Muckrakers were journalists who attempted to expose the evils in society, kind of like what the whole progressive movement is doing. We are just there in the forefront, really trying to destroy the trust and expose the difficulties that are going on. The thing that I exposed was actually Standard Oil, one of the biggest trust monopolies of the time period. And before we move on to some more stuff, I'm just going to go over some really important muckrakers, my best friends. A big one was Upton Sinclair, who wrote The Jungle, you know, the meat packing thing. And Lincoln Steffens wrote The Shame of the Cities. David G. Phillips wrote The Treason of the Senate. And that's all I have time for. Sorry. Bye. Hi everybody, I am now coming to you as an average middle class American woman, a factory worker. I am here to tell you about the progressives two main goals. This is one, to get the government to help curb trust and two, to limit socialist threat by improving the common person's conditions of life and labor. So that means first we're going to try to get rid of all the trusts so we have a better economic platform and then definitely want me to stop wearing these ugly clothes and get some better working conditions, make things safer for everyone and help to mend that gap between the rich and the poor. All right, ending up our fun time together, I am President Theodore Roosevelt, here to tell you about some of the great things I did during this time period. First of all, I was known as a trust buster, and I also was known to discriminate between the good and the bad trust. So I did think that there were good trusts that benefited to society and didn't abuse their power, but I was definitely after all those bad trusts. Now, a big progressive movement thing that I did was the square deal, the three C's. Control of corporations, so I regulated the corporations. Consumer protection, this is going back to the trusts. And conservation of natural resources. Now, a big thing to know is Teddy Roosevelt. I am definitely known for my conservation. I did the Forest Rescue Act the Desert Land Act, the Newlands Act, I was very active in making sure that we conserved our natural resources. So if you're thinking about what's the big progressive thing that he did, it was conserving, not trust as much as conserving.
one last notable thing about me as a president is I was super active. I was a great president. I was definitely really listening to the citizens. This is shown in the anthracite coal miner strike. Always the presidents choose to go with the owners, big corporations and everything, but Teddy decide, I decided to side against the owners and help get better wages for the workers. You can also tell how much I cared as a president because I really read what the muckrakers were saying. I read Upton Sinclair's The Jungle and I was disgusted and I passed the Meat Inspection Act and another Food and Drug Safety Act and this just really shows how big of a role the muckrakers played, how big of a role I played in the progressive era. Okay, so that is the progressive era. I hope you all learned a lot. I'm sure you're going to get A's on your test because of me, and I hope you, Coach Thomas, will give me an A because I really need it and um, stayed up all night making this. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.